Hey, what's going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus, the one, the only, Mr. Nintendo Free 2011, a.k.a. Criticism Guy 2009. So, uh, thing is, I might actually start be doing a new series on, like, not really YouTube celebrities or stars or just well, very well-known, like, respected and sometimes disrespected YouTube stars. That's what I'm probably going to be doing for now because um, I'm kind of running out of stuff to talk about. So if any of you guys want to drop some comments down below or just PM me like most of you guys probably will, um, let me know what to talk about. As I'm still going to be doing like my little pony comic dubs, you know, a couple rants here and there, trailer reviews, I'll still do that. I'm still going to be doing like Pokemon related stuff and anime shit too. And uh, what else? Something else I'm trying to think of. Like I'll still do top tens. I know I haven't been really a man of my word for that shit, but I will do it. Just stay in tune for that. So, hopefully you uh, read the title up above and below. I'll be talking about Miss um, Leah right here, a.k.a. mostly known as back in the day, I think. Well, not even back in the day. A couple months ago, she was Sexy Sexy Sniper, I think. That's what it was, yeah. A a.k.a. S a Sniper Wolf now. So, let's begin. So, uh, it was pretty freaking funny when I, you know, I remember last year when I saw this chick. Well, actually, no. She's not even that far. She's like seven, eight hours away. Maybe like five because... I know she's out in Arizona somewhere. I don't know what part. Probably like Phoenix or whatever. Or Flash stuff. I don't fucking know. Because I'm right in Nevada, so it's not that fucking far. I've been to Arizona maybe like once every, you know, once every month, every now and then. It's kind of the same thing like Vegas, so it's nothing really new. Anyways, other than that, besides all that shit, no, let me just tell her as a person, though, that she's, she's alright. She's decent. I'm not gonna say I'm not. Sh I'm not really sure why she chose that name, sexy, sexy sniper. Maybe would have been better if she chose pretty or cute, maybe because uh, she's not really my type on that. I'm not saying she's ugly as fuck. You know, she's cute as fuck. She's not just not my type. You know. But other than that, you know, well, as far as her being a gamer and shit goes, she definitely has my well-deserved respect on that shit. Even though I'm not the biggest fanboy of Call of Duty and Battlefield, even though I think Battlefield is just a slightly bit better. Just my whole aspect on it compared to like Call of Duty, you know, it's all right. I remember the first, second, and third one was out. I, to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to piss off a lot of fanboy COD boys and COD fan girls out there, but I thought it was complete shit. I'm sorry. The first person shooter for me back then was just me out of that fucking bullshit. That's what it was. So I was still one of those old school platformer fanboys at that time, you know, with the PS, growing up with PS1, PS2 era, even Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, etc., you know? I was a fan of this shit, but I'm starting to ramble off now. Not until maybe Black Ops 1 and 2 came out, that's when I started, you know, having a small, small, tiny, decent amount of respect for the game. It was alright. Even though it's a huge-ass fucking franchise, basically played all over the freaking world. But, um, I guess it's alright now. But, maybe when Ghost comes out, maybe it's gonna be the same old crap, or it's gonna be, you know, something a little bit different to the table. You know, I know they're gonna have a female, and they're gonna have real dogs and stuff on there. So, yeah, there's that. And let's get back to Leah, a.k.a. some SS Sniper Wolf. You know, I think when, remember last year when I discovered her, I was, you know, I was watching some anime stuff and all that. I don't know why that came out. I was watching some anime manga stuff review, and I stumbled upon one of her videos from, like, this Twitter thing, whatever. Somebody was telling me about her. She, oh, you should go check this chick out if you were, like, really liking a Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty 3 or Black Ops 1, 2 or any of those games. I decided to check the chick out. It was really funny. The only thing I actually liked about this girl was that she had a lot of crazy little sexual things. She was a really fucking dirty mouth bitch, just like I was. Except I'm not a bitch, I'm a dude. And she doesn't really use as much profanity and shit like she used to at that time because, um, I remember she stated in her videos that her family and her parents like watching her stuff, so they don't really like her using profanity and stuff. I guess to a sort of extent that is understandable. I can see where she's coming from there. And what else? I mean, she did this small segment of Grand Theft Auto, but a lot of people were hating on her because if I know her latest one about a month ago, she did that whole girl gone gamers fake it's I really don't care too much about that chick either but you know what I probably pick her over like girl gone gamer because I a lot of people were saying her shit was fake because um her brother was playing for her on Call of Duty and shit like that which I really only play like once a week or a month I don't really play it as much as my other shit like my racing games or my old school platformer shit I know once in a while occasionally some RPGs you know that's cool sorry about that guys I was having a little bit of a water break Oh yeah, another really cool ass thing about her is I forgot to mention she does a lot of really badass cosplay. She's really fucking into anime and manga, which is really fucking awesome. You know, just like my ass is. So uh, I'll respect her there. And uh, she does cosplay really fucking professionally, even though she uses push-up bras most of the time. 
you know, it's still cool, nevertheless, you know. But other than that, <clears throat> the last thing I know, she does a lot of advertise self promotion and shit, which I don't care too much about. But I do like those gamma things. I actually tried one for myself. That's some hyper ass shit. I mean, Monster is good, but sometimes that one's a little bit better, you know. And you just fucking add water. <laughs> But other than that, um, what else can I say? She was starting to do the Let's Plays of Metal Gear Solid. She's a real big fangirl in that franchise. I thought it was pretty decent back in the day of Metal Gear Solid, even though I like Splinter Cell. And a lot of people say Splinter Cell is a ripoff of MGO, a.k.a. Metal Gear Solid. But personally, in my opinion, I thought Splinter Cell was cool. You know, because I, I played that one before Metal Gear Solid. So, you know, it's only right I like that one a little bit more, you know? And then there was, there was that drama with um, Sexy Sexy Sniper and the other chick at the time last month, because it's probably old fucking news by now. So I'm way late on that shit. <laughs> um, man, sometimes she'll get into her personal life sometimes, like how she got in trouble in school back in the days, how she used to like Pokemon cards back in the days from first and second gen. And she didn't really know about, she don't know that much about 3, 4, 5, and 6, which was Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, and the one new now, the Kalos region, or Kalos region, that's pronounced now. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to be doing a video on the first um, X and Y episode they showed, even though I don't watch it that much in Cartoon Network, which I'm not much a fan now as I was back in the day. Only two fucking things I watch on there anymore is fucking either regular show once in a while, I'll do that, or maybe the, um, <clears throat> the adult swim stuff. That's probably it. And then, nevertheless, I barely even watch it anymore. Plus, I'm getting old as fuck. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about her. I mean, I'm not gonna say shit about her. So, oh, she sucks. She doesn't give a shit about the fans, which maybe could be true, but at the same time, I think it's still, she's still a really chill-ass chick. She's gonna be fucking 21 Tuesday, I think, this week. Freaking insane. She's, like, way younger than me. Like, mean, because I'm almost fucking mid-20s already. So, uh, enough of me rambling. That's all I had to say for now. One last thing I almost forgot that I left out about her is that, um, she does these little segments besides the Call of Duty things. She does these montages or whatever. I remember she did this really funny ass thing. I remember what it was. Shit. Besides the Grand Theft Auto V where she was freaking the hell out like crazy because she didn't really do none of the missions. She was just bullshitting around most of the time saying how big as fuck like the map was in this game for GTA V. What else did I forget about her? Oh yeah, she does these Q&A questions too. I know a lot of other YouTubers do that are really big up there, but... You know, I don't really do that crap because I don't have as many things like subs as she does. I probably never will. But, you know, if I ever did, hey, that'd be fucking awesome, you know? Like, 50, 60,000 people following or 150,000, I think she has. It's a lot of fucking people. <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Like I always say, peace out, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. I will see you when I see you. Guys, have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're at around the world, don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Be safe. See you soon. See you around. All that good shit. And I'll talk to you soon. I'm getting the hell out of here. And uh, alright. I'm done. Peace. Late and I'm gone.